Hey everyone, my name is Tegan. I have no idea if this video is a focus or not, but welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today I'm going to be doing what is the currently reading tag, which I believe was created by... Oh god... Charlie Rainhorse. It's a YouTube video, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And I'm currently too overwhelmed with college right now just to actually pick up and read a book. So instead, I'm going to do a tag about all the books that I should be currently reading. Let's begin. <laughs> Number one is how many books you read at once. And I'm someone who gets like very easily muddled about plots and I forget things as soon as I read them. So I can only usually handle one book at once or two as long as they're like very different plots and genres and styles and like the complete opposite. Otherwise I get confused easy. <laughs> when I was younger I'd have like three or four books on the go at once, but now I am busy and I have the attention span of a toddler. <laughs> so if you're reading more than one book at a time, how do you decide when to switch reading, switch to reading the other book? Do you read a certain amount of pages in each? I always pick up the second book if the first one starts to bore me. So I'll switch back if I get bored. Then no, I'll switch back if I get bored during the second one. So it's basically read until I get bored and switch. <laughs> or sometimes I'm just not in the mood for one genre, and because I read two completely different books at the same time, I'll switch to the other one. Or if they're like both interesting, but I prefer one slightly, just because like, I get emotionally attached to characters, then I'll switch to that one. Do you ever switch bookmarks while you're part way through a book? So the things I use most often for bookmarks are like appointment cards or receipts. So my bookmark usually gets switched out whenever I put one of those things in the bin. <laughs> Which isn't useful if the only way of keeping track of your page is that bit of paper that's just been binned. But you know, Goodreads is very helpful now, so I can update my page count constantly because I'm obsessed with numbers. But, you know, my bookmarks don't get switched easy, but I also lose things really easy. And I used to put like, I had actual proper bookmarks, and I'd put them in like the back page of the book when I was done, and just forget about it and put the book away, so now I'd just completely lose a perfectly good bookmark. I need to find some of those. Where do you keep the book you're currently reading? Um, kind of whatever really. If I'm planning on reading it like close, like within the hour or whatever, my room is basically just a bed, because it's a small room and a big bed. So I do everything on my bed, I sit on and like work and I'll have a book like near me, nearby, easy access. Or sometimes I'll have it like on my bedside table. If I'm not planning on reading like anytime soon, it will just stay like on this bookshelf, just like lying down at the front somewhere so it doesn't get like muddled in with the rest. So what time of day do you spend the most time reading? Half my reading time is probably spent reading like ebooks on the train to and from college or when I'm just waiting to go into a lesson. Because sometimes in the morning you get there like 20 minutes early and I can't find a way to waste 20 minutes. So I just sit there and read an ebook. So it's either like in the morning for lessons on the way to college or on the way back from college is my time of ebooks. My time spent reading like actual physical books and paperbacks is like probably at night like under the duvet with my phone torch to like light up the page. Yeah. How long do you typically read for in one go? That usually depends on like my interest in the book and my mood and my attention span at the time. If it's something I really enjoy, then I'll sit there and read for like a couple of hours straight, just unbroken. But like if I'm reading on the train, it's usually very limited to like the half an hour train journey, presuming it's not really loud and full of children. <sighs> but technically I could read for like an hour or two at the time before I start getting fidgety and have to move. But then I do spend entire days just reading. Do you read hard covers with the dust jacket on or off? I keep it on. I feel like I should take it off so it like protects the, the dust jacket, but the dust jacket should protect the book. But also if I take it off I'll probably lose it. Like I have some hardbacks on my other shelves that have no dust jacket just because they've gone somewhere. I don't know where they've gone, I don't know how I lost them, I don't remember taking them off, but they're just gone. I need to find those as well. Which position do you mainly use to read? On the train it's obviously sitting up, but I like having the window seat so I can like lean against the wall. At home, just like laying down on one side curled into a ball with like a little book, like some kind of little goblin of a book. <laughs> So always comfy, usually with like one side of my body just pressed against something. Because that just feels nice. That sounds so strange. Do you take the book you're currently reading with you everywhere you go? So my ebooks obviously come everywhere with me because they're on my iPod and my iPod comes everywhere with me. 
but paperbacks they literally never leave my house unless I'm going away somewhere for a long amount of time because I'm so scared of like ruining or losing or damaging a book that they just stay in here forever. Apart from my friend borrows them sometimes so they get to like at least leave the house. How often do you update your progress in the book you're currently reading on Goodreads? So whenever I put down the book. I have like an obsession with, I think it's probably an OCD thing, I have a session with numbers and things always being up to date. So I have ten and also like I lose bookmarks all the time. So I would update my book wherever possible. But I feel like that's annoying people when it's like you've read ten like on Goodreads like it posts an update every time you update it. That sounds bad. <laughs> so yeah, it would post an update and um, because I update a lot, it would be like every ten pages. So I'm trying to just do it whenever I put down the book rather than just whenever I feel like I'm paranoid about losing my page. And the final question is who would you like to tag? So anyone who sees a video and just wants to do it, just go for it. I'm a small little person in the big wide world so no one's probably going to see this and even though I did tag anyone they still wouldn't see it so if you want to do it, go for it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!